Good evening. Well, this should roll out within the next few weeks, and King County says this is all about empowering pet owners. We spoke to one pet owner, Allison Scarborough, who we've heard from multiple times. She's a pet owner who lost a dog in one of those fires. She says this is a win for transparency. I'm feeling really excited and I'm so grateful um, Health Services in the city of Seattle is hearing us about some of these changes that we're asking for. Since losing her dog Georgie following the Soto Dog Resort fire in November, Allison Scarbrope has been pushing for change in the dog boarding industry, specifically in Seattle and King County. It was such a hard thing to go through. I don't want anyone else to have to experience it. And there seems to be some low-hanging fruit improvements that people are excited about fixing. She's pushed for change in fire suppression laws, which would make fire sprinklers and alarms mandatory in all pet boarding businesses in Washington. That bill is still making its way through the state capitol. A more recent win, the King County Health Department saying public health will expand the pet business regulations and permits webpage. Transparency is exactly the perfect word to use. Enabling pet owners uh, to really understand what's happening in these facilities where our animals are being cared for. The page will soon include a list of permitted pet businesses in the county. It'll also list any active permit suspensions and instructions on how pet owners and others can get more information about past inspections of those permitted businesses. I actually asked for all of those things and what I asked for, they met. Um, but I think the top um, one is really that permit status change. Scarborough feels this transparency will better empower pet owners where they decide to board their pets. <laughs> She says had this info been readily available prior, she may not have used the dog kennel that had a fire history, perhaps preventing her dog from passing away. Unfortunately, in the incident which resulted in my dog being killed and Remy injured, uh, the facility had a suspended permit and that's something I would have wanted to know. And in a statement, a public health spokesperson said in part, the safety and well-being of pets in our community is paramount. We are committed to ensuring that pet care establishments meet stringent standards to prevent such incidents in the future. Again, the expansion of this online portal is expected to roll out in the coming weeks. Now, it is important to mention this is only for King County and the city of Seattle. Live in Seattle tonight, Dave Dittling, Fox 13 News.